Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dimitri and in today's video I'm going to explain to you why I am frustrated at Microsoft. This wasn't even supposed to be on my content calendar, this is off the cuff. I am just finishing my first look video at Microsoft Loop and I have to come back and take a moment and acknowledge to the public that it is a ripoff. I can't, without a doubt, make this any more clear. The entirety of the Microsoft Loop preview outside of like, outside of like two features is basically a Notion ripoff. And I, I'm just not here for it. Listen, I, I understand it's in the beta. I completely understand. I'm gonna do my best here to not be rude. But you explain to me how I'm supposed to respond when the minimum valuable product of a $200 billion annual revenue company essentially is Notion 1.5. A year and a half after they announced it was gonna be a thing. I think this is amazing for applications like those people who are going to be in the Microsoft ecosystem no matter what they do because that is what their company has due to compliance reasons. I am fully appreciative of what this could do even from a business productivity perspective for those of us that are just forced into that ecosystem that to be frank kind of sucks. But could you have had any originality at all in what you're doing. If you want me to give you brownie points for the fact that your emojis look different, I can't help you. Like I, I make a series on this channel called Blank App Sucks, which is essentially me going through and pretending to be a frustrated productivity app consumer. And I say these outlandish things that basically point out to the audience how ridiculous a lot of complaints are about apps and that there is no one app to rule them all. But can we talk without any filter, although some filter, I mean, I don't want to get demonetized, about the fact that this is a blatant Notion ripoff. As point out, pointed out in almost every article I seem to see, the similarities between Loop and Notion are impossible to miss. Both Microsoft Loop and Notion are built around the concept of a unified, flexible workspace where you can organize your team's knowledge, collaborate on documents, manage projects, and more. The interface of Loop will, look, will also look and feel similar to anyone who's used Notion before. Some reasons you might prefer Loop or the fact that it's seamlessly integrated with other products in the Microsoft ecosystem. Like, that's great. I'm gonna give you all the credit in the world. I think it's really cool that Loop components can like sync between Loop and Teams, Outlook, OneNote, all those different platforms. You can obviously manage your files better. Like, that's amazing. I'm gonna give that all the credit in the world. But you couldn't have like done anything here? Like, okay, ideas. Okay, this is your, this is one of your example templates. All right, that's kind of interesting. Baseline database stuff, meeting notes, meeting notes, interesting. I don't know what else you want me to do here. I just gotta say that if your main addition is the fact that it's gonna be completely integrated with the Office ecosystem, like kudos to you. And I get it, Notion is just marked down, bundled up in a different way. And maybe I need to stop being salty, but you couldn't have tried to be a little bit more original than just the emojis and just the covers. You couldn't have tried like to have a little bit more to the platform except for the fact that it's integrated with Microsoft Office. I will give credit where credit is due about the loop components. I will cre give credit where credit is due about the tagging capabilities that you have here and the fact that you can slash label things into this. I will give credit where credit is due on this little voting table template. It's kind of cool. I think votes are interesting. I'll even give credit where credit is due on the fact that you can do rich text editing within text properties and tables. But I will just not stand for not calling this out for what it is as just a blatant Notion clone. And you don't even have more than just lists and, and tables. You don't even have Kanban boards. You don't even have a calendar. I, I just, I expected that if you were gonna rip it off, you were gonna at least have a similar level of baseline, like all the same database views that were like default before Notion started releasing more in the last two years. This was supposed to be a comparison video. I just, I'm, I'm really frustrated. I was actually reading an article about this recently and they made some good points about, you know, a question, is Loop a Notion ripoff or is it simply in the same space? As ever with Microsoft, they're unafraid to copy. Teams just doesn't look like Slack. Her teams just doesn't act like Slack. It also looks like it. And likewise, Loop doesn't just act like Notion, it looks like Notion. It has the same vibes, and they didn't even bother to have this little thing right here, whatever you want to call the six dots on all these different block movements, a different number of dots. It doesn't have full width functionality from what I can tell on pages. Even the MVP of the application just isn't what it is with Notion outside of the fact that it integrates with Microsoft. And I just don't, I don't want to get too mad. I don't get too frustrated by this. I just want to know what you think in the comment section down below and want to point out 
how blatantly the same these two applications are. If you're mad about it, let me know. If you're happy about it, let me know. To be clear, I'm frustrated by the minimum valuable product while it just blatantly being the exact same thing as as notion but less functional i'm happy for microsoft users because it's better than what they had but you could have done at least a lot better with that being said thank you so much for listening to this episode of me ranting here's an actual video and hopefully how it can help you improve your productivity or something